Nothing's not working. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> hey, everyone. Happy, happy, happy Friday. I'm Mia Voss. This is Denise Wakeman. We are we are live at Social Media Marketing World in San, San Diego, hanging out in my hotel room because we were like rock stars, aren't we? Absolutely. <laughs> well, time we're in bed, by. <laughs> we talk a big game. I'm just telling you. You know, partying until at least 10. <laughs> exactly. We had such a fun time with our IRL last night, didn't we? That um, was so cool. It was so cool to meet all like Google Plus people in person. It was just so cool to hang out with Dustin Stout. We did. Ben Dustin, Fisher. Ben Fisher. Christine DeGraff. DeGraff. She yeah. uh, she's at the pool uh, now because we got we got we got started way too early. So Ben is going to join us. Christine was going to join us. They are worn out. We all got worn out from running the streets. Um, and thank you, David Oldenburg was going to join us. But since we really um, were only able to do our, our uh, interviews, um, and I need to post a link for that too, um, we were only able to do them just with the one person. We decided we were just going to kind of wing it. So if you haven't seen, we did a ton of interviews this week with the HOA Street team. We had one with Denise yesterday, which was, was fun. fun. And we shouted out, hey, Sid Rust. Let's <laughs> shout her out again. Hey, Sid Rust. She is, mm, hold on, let me get it to you. Oh, oh yeah. On. There you uh, go. Thanks. Oh, so with the, uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed, when you've got the tiara, I brought my in real life. I think I'm going pretty much everywhere <laughs> this week because I ran into Martin Sherrington on Tuesday night and he's like, I really almost didn't get who you were until you put a tiara <laughs> on. So thank you again, Rhonda Green, for this amazing piece. It's got a little rooster on it, which has got a little story behind it, but we can tell you that later. So, um, hey, welcome. I though. heard that story. Yeah, you did hear that one. <laughs> cluck, cluck. Yeah. That's pretty much it. So. We'll just anyway, leave it at that. We will leave it at that. So, hey, Irene Brody is joining us today. Hi, Irene. Hello, Mia. Hi, Denise. Hi. Had a busy, busy week, girls. We did. And, um, you know, we were saying before that um, Are you feeling like a pure introvert? I'm, I'm pretty much an off-the-charts introvert. So. <laughs> <laughs> like in your hoodie and your yeah, snuggie. Yeah, pretty much. But I have... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Quite a bit. I'm going to move this over because I'm getting sure. blinded by the light over here. Um, quite a bit. So you, you have had to get out of your. Uh, <laughs> I know we we have a blur, so you don't see that the, the background here at the at the hotel. So, well, listen. Um, you've been instrumental on social media marketing world. Mm -hmm. So, um, and this is your second. This is the second year, right? This is the second year. It's the first year I've been here. Though. Is it okay? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you've my helped. my relationship with Mike Stelzner and social media examiner and social media success summit goes back to when it was being formed in 1990 uh, uh, not 19 2008 it feels that long it feels that long yeah right uh, but, right you know it's been a meteoric rise for for Mike Stelzner and social media examiner and it has you can you can see why when you're at an event like this because there's every t attention to detail i mean he's really he and his team have created an amazing experience for the attendees. Everything from the signage to the daily emails telling you what's happening, what the mm -hmm. schedule is, the networking events, the the yeah. games to help you connect with people is mean, it, yeah. been really brilliant. Um, you know, the opening night party on an aircraft carrier. I mean, exactly. that was totally cool with right. a band and you know, flowing food and drinks. <laughs> yeah, I heard it was got 1,800 people attending. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's pretty astounding. 80, 80 sessions, one hundred and thirty presenters. Mm -hmm. I think I think that's mm -hmm. those are the numbers. So yeah. it's, it's pretty remarkable. Panels, uh, presentations. Mm -hmm. Martin Shervington did uh, was he he was mentioned in the keynote yesterday. So that was kind of exciting too because um, Google Plus is getting some good some good yeah. traction. Yeah, finally. It, exactly, and I. <laughs> Give me back that. Yeah. <laughs> I attended. Um, I was able to see Martin's uh, presentation on creating community with Google Plus. Mm -hmm. And you know, in my mind, I was thinking, oh, he's going to talk about communities, but that's not at all what. Mm -hmm. It wasn't about the community function on Google Plus, but it was about how to cr how people have been creating, how he has, and people like Mia have been creating really vibrant communities, of passionate people. people that, yeah. <laughs> 
and you and how he does it through circles and sharing and and creating anticipation and it was really good. I mean, he rocked the house. He was in a big room. He wasn't in a small presentation. Room. He was in a big one. It was standing room only. So yeah. And he was he was I want to say up against because it wasn't it's not a competition. Mm -hmm. But but uh, Chris Brogan was also presenting at the same time. So for that kind of numbers to come in, especially about Google Plus, is always kind of yeah. interesting. So speaking of the people, the people, the people. Let's the people. look at some comments real quick. Um, hi Doug Moore, keep that energy going, be remarkable, that's my new call to action. I All love right. that I hashtag. Love, that. love it, love it. Let's see what else we've got. Be remarkable. Oh, that, that we're going to work on. Hi David Leopold, hello from a nice spring day, probably finally yeah. in Cincinnati. That's oh, cool. Andy Lyons, we love you, wave hey. madly, blowing kisses. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, Susan Fitch, you have your cast at your side. How fun for you to have your hands. Oh, why, can I just talk to you? I do need to talk about um, Christine DeGraff oh, because absolutely. that's been so much fun. We met up at the airport on Tuesday. Uh, just it's like it's like riding a bike. It really is. <laughs> like that's what I said about even um, meeting you, meeting uh, Cynthia Sanchez. Um, Martin's been fun to meet as well. Ben Fisher, I'd seen him a couple weeks mm -hmm. ago too. Um, we had the IRL party last night. So this woman, um, Susan Zimmerman, or Sue Zimmer, Sue B Zimmerman, that I interviewed, um, is the Instagram gal. Yep. If you guys haven't seen her, and um, I'm gonna post the links to all the interviews that we did. She rocked my world on on Instagram. Oh like, really? And I, I had not been paying attention to it at all. So um, that was really fun to see that. So yeah, we've been I have having to see that interview. Yeah, she did such a great so job. So generous, you know, inviting everybody to the suite last night. For the, she did, the, yeah. So we, the we Google Plus yeah. hangout. IRL suite. No, IRL. That's IRL what the suite. picture was taken of last night. And that was Pam Adger, who's my new favorite thing. She's been on Google Plus, um, I think she said since... Day one or yeah, something. Yeah, since almost, I think like day or week one. So she's been up on it for a while. So she posted that great moving gift, and I need I need to share that from her too. Um, let's see what else. Oh, Deborah Tutnauer. Hey, girl. Love seeing you both um, on air. Yes, she was on air with us. We have a connection from back in Denver, 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 uh, Denver Tettenauer, Tettenauer and I. And then, so we had met um, about a year ago, but um, but then to reconnect on Google Plus and go, I know you for something else. And then she's doing amazing coaching. Oh, too. Wow. So Christine okay. was like interviewing her and saying, I, and I'm going to be your new client. So that was kind of fun <laughs> to do, too. Uh, let's see, is the West Coast better than the? Uh, Scott Scowcroft. Well, Scott is over here, and I'm on the West Coast right now. Ralph Rivera is West here. West Coast rocks. I know. Two thumbs up for that one. Allison Heath. Hi, guys. Loving your real tiara. <laughs> Girls are looking great. I will say we're a little tired, so I'm a little worn out. Lynn Abate is in his house. Woohoo! <laughs> Chat and green. The Fun NorCal chat. coast. Love the NorCal too. Love that. I'm a California girl, born and raised. So you know. Yeah, this is your this is your home space, this isn't is my it? My space. Oh, uh, brother Craig. Doug Moore next year is a bit burnout back in the early 2000s at the conference scene. Also, I would. Oh, whatever. You're always invited, oh. brother Craig. <laughs> He knows this. Let's see what else we've got. I think Irene, Irene has something up here. Hi, Karina. <laughs> Happy Bat Crap Crazy Friday, all. Amen. Woo. So listen, guys, what I'm thinking about for today, we're going to talk more about the different presenters and so forth, but I really want to kind of hear from you guys what some of your favorite it's probably what been about 10, 10 people that uh, that I've run into that it's so fun to see. Yeah, last night was so much fun. We had um, yeah Dustin Stout, Ben, uh, Beth and Davies, Ryan Hanley, Ryan Hanley. He was great, much taller than I knew. Oh my gosh, it's like hello up there. He did the coolest <laughs> beer bottle opening trick. I'm sorry, oh, I missed that. Oh, <laughs> missed what he was that. talking <laughs> at, and I was like, just flipped it to open one beer bottle with another. I'm just saying, and then I, I did get it on video, and all the girls and I were like, oh, it was awesome. <laughs> Very fun. It was, it, that was fun to see him. Who else was there last night? Martin, obviously. Lynn Knowlton, my sister-in-law, is mm -hmm. here from um, Toronto, and she's an awesome blogger, mm -hmm. and she's okay. now uh, getting into Google Plus, too, so that's I good. Know. That's good. Got her drinking the Kool-Aid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Who else was there? How did Martin? What? How did Martin's talk go? Um, he was doing a talk last night. Yeah, and that was the one yeah. that Denise just mentioned that he was up um, up with, yeah, the same yeah. with, with oh, Chris. And Chris that's the only yeah. one he was um, 
presenting at, but he said he's... Um, I think he's on a panel today. He's on a panel today, yes, so he's doing that. Okay. Uh, good. The panels are being good. One gal, um, Sue Zimmerman, did a panel with, um, I think it was, no, it was Cynthia Sanchez did a panel with the people from Constant Contact, oh. um, and then, oh gosh, there was another one, and then at San Diego Zoo. Um, so she had all the marketing people from them uh, on the panel and then talking about their country sports and was totally picking oh, their brain. Wow. That was super, super cool. Yeah. So she had a good one. Yeah, with the problem is there's so many sessions. There's probably 12, 10 to 12 at each time period. So you can pick one. Mm -hmm. But they're offering the um, video replays with slides and all that. Night was phenomenal. Who was that? And that's uh, Steve Farber. Okay. And but that's when I was with you guys. Yeah. And you know I didn't. did an and I was, and So it's like you can't do everything. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. And then yeah. not like, just doing all the interviews. We were just running around like crazy. Because I will say it's very it's it's challenging to uh, find a space to to kind of hang out in. But but that's a good thing. It's because every space is filled with different people yeah. that you want to run into and meet. So that was really fun too. We have a couple more too. Uh, Andy wants to know if you've seen Michael Hyatt hashtag her hero platform. Michael Hyatt is today at 10:45, and that is my intention to go to his session today. So, so um, get I'll, I'll report back, Andy. <laughs> Love it. Um, oh, Zara says we're looking so perky after that week. Uh, just pushing. It's pushing. I'm telling you. But thank you, darling. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, I know Randy said he. Uh, Randy Hilarski says he loves Pam Adger. So it was fun. To, I got a foot rub from Pam Adger. And if you want to see the reaction to the foot rub, that's posted on my program. Yeah, I've hardly been able. I haven't been online hardly at all because there's just not enough time, so I haven't shared or posted oh. very much. But that picture, yeah, was I would imagine it was, it was sleepy captured. to me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was in. A, I had a foot gasm. Yes. Well, I was going to let you say that. I yeah, really yeah, I really did. You're like, I'd be here, like, you're going to see if I wanted to actually see that. And her face is like, oh my god. So I you have to go it. see that picture. But yes, you do, and it's on Denise's. I just gave it back to you. Um, Ralph says, yay for Cynthia Sanchez. Don't mess with Texas. Amen. <laughs> let me tell you something, guys. Did you get a chance to, to talk with, with Cynthia Sanchez? No, no. You need to go have a girl crush on her okay. immediately. She is just such a neat gal, you guys. I, I did an interview with her yesterday. Um, yeah. So she's oh so Pinteresting, right? Mm -hmm. And she was a uh, oncology nurse wow. up until um, two years ago. Got interested in Pinterest. Uh, it was all about Pinterest, and said, you know, finally realized that it was something that she really wanted to do was building boards. And then got hired on by a client. She's definitely one of the best success stories I've wow. ever heard of. Of you know, started doing it, had an interest in it. Um, and then a client came to her and was like, hey, we want you to run our social media. And she made it happen, quit her job. So literally was an oncology nurse for most of her life. She's the mother of two sets of twins. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can see her in real life. She's adorbs, uh, just the cutest little thing ever. So um, wow. great No, energy. I haven't met her. I'll have to do that. Yeah, you got to track mm -hmm. her down and, and hug mm -hmm. up on her for me again because she's mm -hmm. really, really neat too. So um, uh, Lynn wants to know if I brought my big bed microphone. I got to tell you no. I thought about it, but it, uh, which is, I would have had to carry it on. And how would that look? I don't know about that. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, Becky Lima says so she's ready to get her learn on, so hopefully we'll get you something on that too. Um, guys, throw out your questions. Throw out um, if you saw. I don't think I've got the. Um, oh, I've got it right here. Excuse me. Um, what uh, some of the people? So I interviewed Joe Polizzi, and I said his name wrong twice. So uh, my bad, Joe Polizzi. <laughs> but I couldn't help it because you know it's you know it's, it's like Mia Maya. He was amazing. <laughs> Uh, right. He's a smart guy. He's a smart cookie, isn't he? Yeah. He's so I haven't cool. ever been to his conference, Content Marketing World, but I've heard it's amazing. And I think yeah. they're in, they're doing the fourth one this year, but I've heard it's really a great con con uh, conference. Yeah, he was talking about that too. He's they have Kevin Spacey as their um, their keynote speaker. Oh my speaker. gosh! And I was like, how'd you nail that one? He said he just reached out to him. House of Cards. I know, right? I love when he talks right to the camera. It's like House yeah. of Cards right now, and we're talking exactly. about it. Yeah. <laughs> what do With you think? He who really? was talking a lot about community as well. Oh, uh, Mia. Um, what, honey? Say that again. Was he who was talking about it a bit? About 
Was he the chap who was talking quite a bit about community as well? You know, I was it him or was it? Um, Here's, here's what his presentation was on, uh, five content marketing practices, practices that most business, businesses ignore. And what he really, you know, content is obviously the buzz, yeah. buzz, buzz word. Mm -hmm. And he was basically saying that most people don't even have like an editorial strategy. So they just put out a ton of content right. and don't yeah. do anything with it. So go, I will mm -hmm. post that interview too because I was nerding out pretty hardcore. He's just, you know, he's just a really, really Me neat too. guy. Yeah. His, um, his company, um, oh gosh, I can't remember it. It's um, like Content Found. He's the founder of it. Yeah. So, and he, you know what's kind of cool about him too is that he was saying that conference that they do, it's in, um, I think it's, it's not in Detroit, Cleveland. It's in Cleveland, yes. And so he's been very specific about making sure the conferences is, is there, and um, and he's bringing people and trying to. He's really trying to do something locally for them too. So it's pretty neat. He's very That's intentional cool. about yeah. saying like, I want to reinvigorate my community, bring some business here, mm -hmm. and he gets that a lot from people. Are like, where, what? where is Cleveland? It? Like, exactly. why would we go to Cleveland? But you know, it, it makes sense too because it is like in the middle of the country, pretty much. Mm -hmm. So it's you know, good get way. To and you know it's different too because most of the big conferences are like, on the coast usually, mm -hmm. and destination um, cities yeah. that have a ton of business anyway. Yeah, exactly. So to kind of reinvigorate that into it, like somebody else was saying, oh Ryan was saying, Ryan Hanley, hey Ryan, <laughs> love that kid. Hey, Ryan, he's something on a stick. He needs to present here. Let's wish list it for him okay. next year. That's, that's, on, his, that's on his list. And you've been on his show too. Yep, one time. Yeah, I was a fill-in. But yeah, but you <laughs> filled in nicely. I'm just gonna say, I watched that too. Well, I watched it, it was um, Ryan. It was Ryan Hanley. We interviewed him. Wayne um, Harmon. Uh, Wayne Hart. Wayne, Wayne Harmon. Hey, Wade. How are you? I think he's on VK with his family. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, Ian Cleary. Oh, that's right. I haven't met him yet. I want to meet him. Oh, today. he's adorable. He's really neat. He's with. Um, oh man, we have. Uh, he, I know they do tools, tools. Drink. Everybody drink. We don't have any yeah, coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. So we had a show um, a couple, I guess it was a couple weeks ago, and it was all about business tools. And I just said, "Hold on, oh, oh I there keep you go. losing my." Camera. I know my crown really does kind of follow me around, just going <laughs> in and out. But that's why I'm warm. He, uh, we decided we were saying tool so much that we were making it a drinking game. So uh, yeah, so drink okay. when I said tool. So okay. we did, we just don't have any, yeah, we still have any coffee. And we did last night. We got a little yeah. drink on last yeah, night. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. We did. So he is what I can't remember who he's. With, but he's such a neat and neat guy. He too. has his uh, razor. Like fart party people. I would say it's just for us. So social. Okay. okay sorry. Anyway, I'm somebody sorry, looked it up Ian. and said Ian Clary. <laughs> he is awesome. Um, Craig, somebody just said Craig, Craig Fifield misses calling in stand up, which is very very true. Um, hold on one second. We got anyone else besides me notice how much more back. How crazy hyper Mia is after meeting everyone she's met. That's called lack of sleep. Tim. See the eyeballs. Mama looks a little tired. It was kind of um. It was it was kind of a kind of a buzz like, yeah. to to meet and like hug up on people. The yeah. hugging factor. Yeah, I just I just body slam hugged Mart and I said forget it. I'm coming in. I'm coming in for a hug. I totally did. And you and a couple other people. Beth and Davies. I think I motorboated her last night. That was probably a little much than a lot of people needed to know, but it was kind. Of, it was kind of good, though. Well, I think that that's what you know. Getting to know people through social media, what, what happens is it breaks that barrier when you do get to meet in real life. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, there's no like, oh, hello, nice mm -hmm. to meet you. It's like, no, wait a minute, we already know each other. You know, just yeah, because we haven't met in person before. You know, and yeah. I, I like that that barrier is gone when yes. you actually meet somebody in real life for the first time because you already have a relationship with them mm -hmm. and yep. like, give it, a hug. It really is riding a bike, that's all I can say. You're just kind of like, you've had these conversations, mm -hmm. you've had the private hangouts, and so exactly. you, can, you can jump into it naturally. The conferences are pretty cool for that, I must yeah. say, you guys. Any of the social media blogging conferences, um, you really have a lot of fish in one barrel mm -hmm. and you keep running into them. Because you, you're exactly. running into the bar, you're running into them at breakfast, um, except us. We, we were tragic about <laughs> running into one another. We were trying to get all day. Yeah. Well, and I, I was. I just thought. I thought, what's wrong with me? I, I, I keep missing like the pings. But the the that the great thing about running into each other is because the internet and um, anything to do with even t uh, texting. Yeah. Um, it's Wi awful. Everything. The Wi-Fi is awful. You can't get text. It's like it's like trying to send a picture at a football game. Well, it, because there's 2,000 people trying to use it, mm -hmm. 
in the hotel. At so. once. Yeah. I will say I did hotspot tethering on my phone. Way to be for sure. Hopefully it doesn't look too bad today. But all right, what else do we have? Hey Scott. Uh, David Leafield, East Coast, West Coast, Midwest, and me connect. I am going to connect oh, you all. Yeah. Yay. I like that one. So that's yeah. good. always does good stuff. Have you, have you ever uh, connected with him? No, I haven't. He is the Scott, Scott treatment. <laughs> he is the awesome sauce for sure. Um, hi, Eileen. Oh, I love her. Wish you were there. Oh, Eileen hi. Smith. Wish you were here too. Yes. Oh, I just love her. And she's, yeah. um, she's definitely... Um, one second, can't get that off there. I thought of you. We were you were with us in spirit with Dustin because I've done a couple um, weekend power chests, and Eileen oh, Eileen mm -hmm. joins us too. So Heather Crafter, hey girl, I'm up up way too early for all the fun I'm hearing you guys are having. This is very true. So I'm I literally I'm going to go home and sleep for yeah. for a couple weeks. Yeah. But but that has been the fun thing too is running into people and then we sit and we chat and we and I I really watched a lot of collaboration. Have you seen that too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I've absolutely. seen some new ideas born. People, you know, Ben Fisher and David, uh, his partner with Steady Demand, and and they are uh, sponsors. So, wow, oh, nice Steady Demand. So check them out. I'm bitly uh, for the BCC approved code. So just go to Steady Demand Tool Drink exactly, <laughs> and put in BCC approved, and you will get twenty percent um, for. Uh, for life, actually, a 20% discount oh, that's for a good that, deal. which is an awesome deal. And they, uh, Razor Social, thank you, Candace. Woo, girlfriend, thank you so much. <laughs> Whoa, we knew it was social, we got Razor, <laughs> we just couldn't put it together. Didn't, yeah. But that was cool when actually uh, Christine interviewed Ian yesterday, mm -hmm. and I saw a collaboration happening literally like right after the show because he mentioned them. He mentioned Circle Scope that Christine is working on. So that was kind of cool to see too. I think Martin's made a couple of connections. Oh, I'm I saw sure people doing that last yeah. night. Sue Zimmerman, again the Instagram gal, really has not gotten on uh, Google Plus at all. So she drank a giant gallon of Google Plus Kool Aid. <laughs> <laughs> While she was here, it was pretty. It was pretty neat to see. Yeah. So let's talk about that. So Martin okay. was saying that, um, you know, he he felt well. He got called out in uh, Chris Brogan, I think. No, uh, Michael Stelzer. Right, right in the keynote. In yeah. the keynote about Google Plus. They, what what uh, Mike did in the opening keynote was he revealed the seven trends from the social media marketing industry survey that he does every year, and this is the sixth year that he's done it. So he gives kind of a report on on what were the results of what marketers are saying. Mm -hmm. This is what the marketers are looking for, what they're seeing, what they're experiencing, what where they want to go. And so the seven trends, which I don't have all memorized, but uh, more too. And I <laughs> visual marketing, mm -hmm. Google Plus, and Google Plus was the number one platform that uh, marketers want to learn more about in 2014. Wow. That, now that is exciting because yeah, I know yeah. we've all felt like, you know, I think we, I, I hear this traditionally or just from every conversation, came into Google+, Plus, looked around, got the hell out, didn't know what was going on, right? right? And then came back in and I've heard this from many people mm -hmm. and it was for me last, that, you know, year, mm -hmm. I came in two years ago in July, heard crickets chirping, couldn't figure it out quite honestly, yeah. you know, Vaughn, but, but you no, know, then there's I think mm -hmm. it's the way it it's was. It's a cross color, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? It went exactly the way it was. Um, I gotta fix my crown. I gotta make sure it looks all good. And then, and then left, and then came back a year ago and said, "All right, this is a platform mm -hmm. for me." I do feel like people are, you know, starting to get yeah. the jump. But now, when he mentions it, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it out there onto a big platform. Because at first, first I was like, "Why isn't Social Media Examiner?" A on this, you mm -hmm. know, why aren't they writing more articles about it? I mean, there have been a couple of articles, so, but I Probably think that from that's, a curiosity standpoint. Yeah, yeah, and so, so he sees it now, and that's what's going to really move the dial. And then with Martin's presentation yesterday on building Me Plus, uh, again, a double room, standing room only, you know, very, he definitely probably. Um, a lot of Kool-Aid yesterday. I think so, so too. <laughs> and I think what, what it, we were saying too that like oh somebody's got a oh is it an anagram uh, missing out uh, missing out on something. Oh, yeah, mofo. No, that's not <laughs> mofo. mofo. <laughs> <laughs> that is mofo, but I can't remember oh, what it is. Missing uh, out. Somebody put, type that in there for us too. Uh, I'm going to see if anybody's got uh, got anything on that. Yeah, it's, it's the missing out. Yeah. Like you feel like you're missing yeah. out on something, and I think that fear is, of missing out. FOMO. Uh, no, I'm serious. Fear of missing out. But mofo. 
<laughs> oh, wait, I'm going to get a call. Oh, sorry. Every time I move, every time I get, yeah, it's too crazy. Yeah. I am going to call it mofo, mofo FOMO. I'm so, I'm so fear of missing out. And I think that's what it is, too. He did mention, he did mention that, too, of like that people are like, okay, it's something cool. What am I missing out on? But I would say the good thing for all of us out there who have already drank the Google Plus Kool-Aid, which is great. Um, if you have planted your flag in the niche mm -hmm. or an industry, it's the way to go. Yeah, Which, you. There's a huge opportunity for, especially for people who you know who are doing consulting and coaching and training around Google Plus. Mm -hmm. Huge opportunity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and just or or anything that's uh, you know, like Lori Lejeur has has nailed it with the interior design community. Mm -hmm. that I just see. Mm -hmm. um, and what an unusual thing. Oh, although when you think about it for Google Plus, it's perfect. It's shiny. It's got visual. Yeah. Um, they've got the whole thing going on. Obviously, Ryan Hanley has you know come in with Content Warfare. Mm -hmm. He's doing that too. Mm -hmm. But but so you guys, if you've been hesitating on you know planning your flag in a community or doing a hangout, y'all exactly. better get busy. Yeah. Because it's I, I fixing think, to get busy. Yeah. Really, you can really take. You can be the thought leader in your industry in on Google Plus. You can be the leader. Sorry, I had to get your cleavage. Oh, you had to get <laughs> <my> cleavage. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're a little slack. <laughs> but yes, I I agree. Yeah. I think that you can there's plenty of room out there, plenty of abundance. Absolutely. As Lena Bate Johnson says, get your slice, which I love too. Uh, Sarah thinks we're funny. Chris Rivagwood, Mofo FOMO. But I knew I look at look at how many FOMOs we got since we sent that to. Uh, well, at least I figured it out finally. Yeah. Oh, Pam girl, Hi. how many people can you say I gave me a boss? Oh, sorry, is my auntie calling me? Uh, the I gave me orgasm. Yes, you did, and I mean it for reals. I'm not kidding. Girlfriend got busy on Mama's feet. Thank God I had a pedicure, so I wasn't embarrassed about um, her having to dig in there because it was pretty. Well, that, well maybe no, I, I won't go to that. <laughs> mind. Hey, Catherine Wolfong. That was one of my first IRLs. Love her so much. Google Plus Kool Aid. Get what's passed around. Uh, <laughs> Street team, Ella was. It kind of was. It it's really kind of It's coming coming out of the the webcam. Mm -hmm. It's like this little spray that comes on to <laughs> people's face <laughs> as they're being interviewed, and they, feel weird. And yeah. they get kind of bloozy. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, which, which one of y'all kicked me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which one of y'all kicked me? And what did you kick me with? It's my Google Plus really ah, foot. I'm a total. as I did before because uh, definitely now that my Facebook folks love you guys to death. Actually, I didn't even change my tab site because it just was so crazy here um, this week, but still trying to bring folks over from there to, um, you know, so it's not as much of an F word as it used to be. Um, I love I do still love my Facebook. It's just got a different platform, but I still see quite a gap. I'm well, you know, um, it's interesting because in the Q&A part on Martin's um, talk yesterday, somebody said, you know, how do I get my Facebook fans over? And he goes, you don't. Let them, let them be there. Mm -hmm. That's the place where they feel comfortable. Eventually, they're going to follow you. And this is something that I've been working on, too, for like a year and a half or mm -hmm. so. And how I do it is that I do things on Google+, and I say, come on over and check it out. Out. Then, if they want to, right. they're naturally going to go over there. I taught a, like a get started on on Google Plus, and I didn't do a Facebook community for the class. Mm -hmm. I did a, I mean, a Facebook group. See, mm -hmm. now I'm getting all my lingo mixed right. up. <laughs> I did a Google Plus private community for the class for right. the participants. So they had, you know, they had to participate, and I. You know, keep giving them little action items to do on Google Plus. So. I bet that's a perfect way to do it. You guys, whoop, when you nope. think about it, that uh, <laughs> that you uh, you just yeah lead them over to it. If like if you want to put that uh, that FOMO, right? You get you have to communicate. And it, or you have to participate. It's, so it's a way. natural thing. So I do my adventures in visibility hangouts occasionally, which you're going to be on soon. I like yes. Um, and I promote it on every other social network so slowly but surely people are coming over and seeing it because mm -hmm. I, I present them on the event page I don't right. put them on my blog so that people are coming over slowly but surely and I'm seeing it in the number of the people who are following me too mm -hmm. it's like okay now you're over now you're I over. Get it. Yeah they're like I get it. So I it's a natural it. way of doing it. Which I like too I mean because I did originally and got a little um, frustrated of Oh, you know, cricket chirping kind of thing. And now, now I just I still post it. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, honestly, here's the kind of odd thing I was thinking. I didn't post it all on Facebook this week, and I was at social media <laughs> marketing world. No. <laughs> um, so I, I checked in at the DIA on Tuesday. 
that's all you got. And I haven't done anything since. So um, just, but it was hard to do because we were running, running, yeah. running this I, way too. I think so. I put one picture on. Yeah. You know, and I'm sorry, I got to get in your face from the drive down. You know, <laughs> oh, we're shopping. Too. <laughs> We've got another one too from Lynn. Uh, oh, so great to see you here. I've been riding from a few oh, far. You're new. Thank yeah. You. No, mm, girl, you got that right. She is. And you're just, I just love your spirit and person too. Like, Let's see. Um, let's see how else we've got. Um, our granny Andy agrees. Organically bringing your fans. Uh, what does YOLO mean? You only live once. Woo! That's right. <laughs> oh, and hi, monogamous tentress. She's one of my little well, Cadwallader. Did I say it right? Is in the uh, is in the audience. Cheryl Deuce finally made it. Work is such a disruption, right? <laughs> um, get your slice. That is true. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Uh, are those large corporate marketers who con uh, conducted the study? Um, which study is that? Oh. The study from Social Media mm -hmm. Marketing World. Gotcha. Uh, they survey nearly 3,000 marketers of all stripes. Mm -hmm. um, Mike's audience, the Social Media Examiner audience, is probably just about 30, 30, 30 of um, corporate solo entrepreneurs who are doing their own marketing and then agencies so okay. it's really a, it's a pretty it's a pretty even slice across the board okay which is great which he, he talked about also it's like this isn't just about the corporate mm -hmm. marketing world I mean and the, and this um, conference is really um, catered to that there's different tracks so there's big brand tracks and and like Joe Polizzi's yeah. uh, brand he's definitely I say you know who's you know who, who is it that you cater to mm -hmm. and he's like you know basically it is larger larger corporations mm -hmm. so right and there are plenty of tracks for the people you know me I'm a solo entrepreneur mm -hmm. basically mm -hmm. I have or my a track company. by the way that's my heart oh, uh, uh, entrepreneur that's uh, oh Sorry. Oh. Uh, that is something that CB Zimmerman came up with. Trap. That's short for that. Now you got to shorten oh. entrepreneur. So trap apparently. Oh, trap. Is the, mm -hmm. oh. Oh, trap. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm a trap. <laughs> so um, you're, you're so let prep nor. Yeah. <laughs> so there's something for everyone, regardless of where you are in that. You know, I'm a one-person show to the big corporate brands. And uh, do you feel like that is evenly d uh, distributed here with the attendees? Yes. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I mean, because it's not it's not cheap, but it's not cheap because it's it's uh, well priced mm -hmm. because you got you get a lot with yeah. Here oh, too. you get a lot. And he said that there's something like people from 40 countries are flew here yeah, to be that's what here. Yeah. Like, and the farthest one was India. Suriname yeah. or someplace like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, As somebody was talking about that too. <laughs> my gosh. That's the that is the one thing I've heard too is that a lot of people just got to. Um, you know, meet like they had their intentional IRLs mm -hmm. that they really wanted to run into, and then just from just naturally running into people, mm -hmm. you've got the networking plaza up yeah. there. Uh, Mike Gingrich, I ended up running into. He was I saw he was posting so much, so I ended up doing an interview with him um, in the networking nope. plaza. Um, <laughs> uh, I know. He was really like, he was doing Instagrams a ton. Like so the mm -hmm. selfies has been kind of fun to watch too. That's coming up. Um, so who else have you love the presentation? Well, and we've I, got another day, so you still. Well, today, yes. Yeah, so, um, because of various things, I only went to a couple presentations, mm -hmm. and I was. I, mm -hmm. um, yes, tell us about that. I did a panel conversation with Mike Stelsner, mm -hmm. who's the founder and CEO of Social Media. Marketing World and Social Media Examiners, I said, and Brian Clark, who's the um, man behind Copy Blogger. Yeah. And, um, oh, I'm so fun. I'm gonna get to meet him. He seems really cool. He is cool. Everybody said he's very cool. Introvert. Mm -hmm. Is he? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. He was here for only a few hours because then he was flying up to Portland to do a, a, another talk. Yeah. Um, so we had a conversation about multi-author blogs, which is obviously what their blogs are, and they both started very differently. So Brian started as it was him blogging about content marketing, basically, before it was kind of called content marketing, and Mike started his as a multi-author blog. Mm -hmm. And so just we had this conversation about how the blogs evolved, what their intentions were from a financial perspective, uh, how they grew their audiences, and it, it was really good. And it was funny because Mike said, 
I didn't think anybody, I thought this would be boring and nobody would want to come and see this. It was standing room only. I was like, are you kidding? You're two rock stars. Of course people want to come and see you. Like, seriously? I knew. I knew it was going to be a big one, you know, and, and, it, and it was. And it was really good. And I saw some good feedback on Twitter, so that was nice. Oh, so, good to see. Yeah. yeah. So we were just all three sitting on stage. I asked my questions, and that was good. If I've it, known both of them for a long time. Since, right. Since before their, you know. Rock star days. So, and we were talking about that last night of uh, the the cocktail napkin idea of, mm -hmm. of social media marketing. Oh yeah, how that came yeah. Out. I know I'm not you know breaking any trade secrets. <laughs> but it's just funny. Yeah, Even if you know, can't tell you, it was fun to hear. You know, because so. Mike in 2008 <laughs> approached me and he for this idea to do social marketing success summit, and because he saw a need there. And he had been studying the landscape, and that wasn't his niche. His niche was white papers. He was the white paper guy, and like he was it on white papers for corporate. Mm -hmm. And um, I'd known him for a while, and so he asked me about this idea, and got put him in touch with Maury Smith and Chris Garrett. He was and, also there. Yeah, Maury Smith yeah, here. Okay. yeah. I missed hers yesterday, mm. <laughs> but um, and did the first social media uh, success summit in 2009. It was really successful. And we were together on Coronado Island, just across the bay from Which where we are right way. now, mm -hmm. and having our celebration dinner because it was so successful. And so I kind of got this idea, like maybe do like a magazine, you know, around social media. And Mari and I are like, oh, well, you know, there's a lot of social media blogs out there. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not so sure you really want to do that. And he quite really expressed his vision. And of course, the rest. I mean, it's really amazing. Nice. So, yeah, I so, love that. Yeah, just, we were his Kickstarters or his fire starters is mm -hmm. what he calls it. So, oh, I love that. Yeah, yeah. just that. So, because mm -hmm. there were four writers at the time, mm -hmm. it was me and Mari, Chris Garrett, and Jason Falls, and so we were the ones that yeah. got the ball, ball rolling. For right. It. It's, they he has over two hundred forty thousand subscribers. That's a list. Twice a day. Wow. Five days a week. That is so fun, and how cool you were in on the beginning of that. So, there, yeah, so cool. ideas I, do. Yeah, I, I do love that that to see things like in the beginning of mm -hmm. it, and then just growing into it too. So, obviously, a butt ton of work. You know, I love that phrase, but <laughs> but totally worth it. You yeah, know, kind of been on it in the beginning too. So, let's see what else we've got going on. Um, uh, do you see anything we need to pull up, Irene? Any questions for us? Just look uh, yeah. Hi, Kim Boltman. Uh, she's so funny. Hey, I want to give a shout out to, uh, let's see who this is. Tina Willis has got a question. I want to give a shout out to Maggie. Man, I can't say her last name. Maggie, um, she's she's a food blogger. She was there last night. Oh, Beautiful I don't, yeah, yeah, I didn't catch her last name. It's with the U. She's going to be on Chef Show right after our show here, so go oh, check her out. Cool. Oh, she's just something cool. else. She just she was so fun. Yeah. And then Joanne Woolley also came over as well, so that was kind of fun. They live they live here locally, and yeah, Maggie's that's reminded me when you said Coronado. That's right. She, she, she came on the ferry mm -hmm. over to the party because she's that cool. So <laughs> they're really fun to see too. Uh, let's see what else. Does anybody have any IRL wishes that they've got of people they really, really want to meet in real life? Please throw that in here too because we kind of throw that out. How about you, Irene? Do you have any IRLs you want to talk about? Of people you want to meet? There's quite a few of the people you've spoken to this week. Gideon, I would, I would love to have a conversation with Gideon Shawwick. Oh, um, he was to see what he's going to be up to next. He's really, really neat. You interviewed him. <laughs> I did. I got to I got to interview him the other day. He was actually my first interview. So he um what a great first of all, he's real cute. <laughs> I got I just got so so oh, I ran, ran into John Lee Newman, also yeah. super cute. Yeah. Ryan Hanley's adorable. Like I just everybody's really everybody's cute. cute. <laughs> Martin's got a Martin's tan. Cute. He looks cute. Yeah, totally. Uh, but yeah, he's oh gosh, he was gracious. So yeah, Irene, you would really enjoy talking with him. Who else do you want to meet, sweetie? Yeah. Who else is on your list? Um, who else? Uh oh. And hopefully it's not our internet that we're frozen. <laughs> our bad if it is. So many, yeah, there's so many people that would be great to meet. Um some of our people that we, we come you know, we meet every day, like Stefan and oh. um, Mike Alton oh. and people like that oh. would be lovely. Yes. Wouldn't that be fun? Uh Stefan, let's talk Stephane. about it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, she was doing that little bit of a festival. No, I was like, and you can't even get a stalker or something now. <laughs> I just I adore someone to know that. I think he'd be happy. I know. I have to tell you, if you, have to, if you get to choose your stalkers, 
I would choose this one. Too. <laughs> yeah. what he's doing. And it's not for it's not for the George Clooney reason either. <laughs> oh, bless him. He no. really does. Too. I like that too. He's just a smarty pants. He is so smart. Mm -hmm. I mean that that was the initial attraction for me. It's just like, oh my gosh, I that's love the way. Right. Yeah. See, that's for me. I was like, uh, I love. Yeah, I'll do it and listen. <laughs> Which, guys, what's fun about that too is that we, you know, yeah, we get to, to meet in real life is awesome. But you know, I've had a couple of uh, private hangouts um, with, you know, with Stefan, I've had one with you, Irene, and I have had a ton. Um, Craig Fifield, we get shit done when mm -hmm. we when we have these these talks, and then you just, you know, we're like a bunch of hands just clucking, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Oh, here's that. here's our girl Rhonda Green. Hey, girl. Oh, we got to see your girl and hug up on her last night. R. I. L. Wish. Oh, me, oh man, I would hug up on you. So I would give you the running jump hug. Um, Beth and Ben, Christine, uh, Cheryl, Stephanie Sims, Ryan Miner, Kirk oh. Sherrod, yes, Dennis Deuce, wouldn't that be fun? Um, yes, Dawn Swick, it is Maggie Unsueta. She said, I'm, I'm not even saying it right. When she says it, I just kind of gave her the head tilt, like, what the? <laughs> she's just so cute. She's she is beautiful. Sweet. <laughs> A really, really neat gal. So, um, Zara says, "Thank you for sharing your inspiration, pro your process, inspiring to." And yes, absolutely. Oh. I saw Tina Willis had a comment in here too. It might have been a question. Did you see that, Irene? Can you pull that one up? Yeah, that was one from Tina. Yes, the main Hey, Oh, thank you. Uh, she says, "Just had a close friend." Oh, darn it all. Did you? Do you have it to pull that one up? Sorry, guys. Yeah. I'm, I'm and uh, just on one screen, I feel very, here it is. Just had a close friend, hold on, who opened a new franchise, started exploring social media, then posted a qu question on Facebook about who was active on Google+. Plus. She quickly realized she needed to get busy over here. I'm doing some social media <laughs> research. Holla, right? No kidding, like, that's true. I mean, we I've talked to... Last night you may have met him at, at the party, Smarty. But he was in finance, and then of course Ryan is in insurance. For you know some of the regulated things, mm -hmm. it's tough, and their hands are tied. I'm sure healthcare is kind of the same yeah. way too. Yeah, yeah. I, I have a feeling that's the case. Banking, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Insurance. Mm -hmm. I have to healthcare. say, I'm trying to think. Is it Bank of America? I've seen them do some fun posts. So I have seen uh, corporate things that do some fun info that you can share. Yeah. So in that sense, they can do advice and things like well, that. Well, that's the thing. Know? It's not. Nothing that you can't give um, like personal advice. So That's what they were saying last night. You, you cannot make careful. promises yeah. like, like the get-go. So you can do general mm -hmm. kinds of things and mm -hmm. you can be fun with your brand. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one brand that always, has always, since before social media, been fun was um, ING Direct. Okay. You yeah. Know, they, they've they always been fun, kind of a fun... The TV fun, commercials. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, you know, there's ways to, there's definitely ways to do that. But it's interesting, just posted your question on Facebook about who was active in Google Plus, <laughs> and it's I've what I have discovered is like I'll do tests while well, post the same thing uh -huh. around the same time. Oh yeah, on Facebook on Google Plus I'll do it in the same format, and I'll get you know like two likes on Facebook, and I've got thousands of followers on mm -hmm. Facebook, and then I'll go over to Google Plus and be shared and likes and comments, and I'm like why am I even wasting my time? But you know there are people there on Facebook, so there are. I mean I I find that that. Bob Voss gets, he'll get a lot of comments on, you know, the cat. Yes. And I did have a couple of people that are like, we really thought he was your husband for a while. <laughs> I'm like, no, nah, I do not have a three-legged husband. <laughs> that sounds odd, though, doesn't it? Sorry. That really sounded <laughs> Anywho, uh, that will be my cat, so... <laughs> I almost feel like we should stop the broadcast right now and just like, how can we top that one? Three minutes, gotta go. Boom, and run. That's how you go. Um, so anyway, Beth, we got <laughs> Beth and Stu about when she met, was it Christine and Ben, <laughs> she pushed Ben out of the way to get a cuddle with Christine when they arrived, that was quite a good one. <laughs> that was so funny, yeah, Beth and Hank, I just feel like Beth and is a, a client of, of Ben's, but had not met before, but they talk so much, I mean that's how I met Ben, mm -hmm. she was through Beth and so she came up at the hotel yesterday and you know they, they had to go and buy all the, the booze for the party <laughs> last night, and said so she pulled up though and <laughs> running across the parking lot to get to each other, and then basically just shoved Ben out of the way to get to Christine. To her, so um, that was yeah, that was that was a good one too. So. 
I love it. But we were hold on. We were talking about yeah the difference in posting. Mm -hmm. um, I do get a lot more. Uh, you know, it's, uh, he'll put Bob will post something or I'll post something. I say like he actually gets mm -hmm. on there. <laughs> Mama took the laptop and yeah, and I didn't leave him the tablet. Um, but he, but just certain pictures will get a ton of action. Like sometimes things that just don't have a call to action mm -hmm. or content, so it's a picture, you know, gets a lot. But then, but I do like it that this audience that I have on Google Plus, that like you do, you do get hurt when you want to yeah. post something that is, you know, you're resharing, which I love. Right. Um, resharing the content, you do get people like, oh, that's really interesting yeah. too. Johnny S says, "Good morning. I wish I could have made a trip to San Diego." We do too, darling. We would have loved to see you here. Um, some podcasters I would love to meet were Rick Morady. Um, inside mm -hmm. social media and Mike O'Neill as an O'Neill solopreneur hour. Have you heard of them? I don't no. know if they're here yet. I will say uh, John Lee Dumas was here and Lewis House and then I know are you doing podcasting as well? No, I did it before it mm -hmm. came back. Before, <laughs> you, before your country before country yeah. was full. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> With but, you know, I'm really enjoying, I'm really preferring the hangouts mm -hmm. and um, you know I might repurpose some of the audio from the hangouts yes. into some kind of um, that is podcast, what I'm not is, With Irene, thank you, darling, for that. Which I think is a good way to do it too. Mm -hmm. because you're, Audience that way. I'll tell you, talking to Ryan about that too because he started in podcasting mm -hmm. and now he's gone to uh, the Google Hangouts, mm -hmm. which he's doing a great. You know, he's just nailed mm -hmm. it before anyway. He's very concise. You yeah. know, you've talked with him, and I'm going to be uh, hanging out with him next week. But he definitely is like you. You just if you've got some content, and I even asked him about that for these shows, mm -hmm. for my shows. I just said. You know, does it make sense because we've got sometimes five or six people, we're mm -hmm. bouncing around a lot, um, we're interacting with the audience, and he said, you know what, you, you just, you can find, did you really can find a market for it, you mm -hmm. just have to choose it. He said, you mm -hmm. have to set the expectation. Yeah, yeah, is that what people want to hear? Yeah. I mean, they might enjoy that, that ba the banter, mm -hmm. and there are nuggets in the banter. Yeah, and that's what, it, well, we talked about that too, I can always find the nuggets mm -hmm. by honestly looking at the comments. Yeah, because that's when I know uh, Lynn is always so good about that too. Mm -hmm. Like just nailing like when they love what somebody says. Mm -hmm. Like that's where the mm -hmm. where the sweet spot is of it too. Let's see what else we got. Um, oh, my broker at Trade America, good one, Christopher Vogelman. He just commented about it. Uh, Tina says thanks for the shout out. She has so many questions. Really hope you guys have, have follow up shows or blog posts. I'll tell you who's gonna is uh, go check out Dustin's Doubt right now. Because I think he's been um, has he been live blogging? He's been live blogging oh, okay. the whole time. He's no Mike Alton. But he is Dustin Stout. <laughs> yeah, he is Dustin Stout. He does some pretty epic posts. Yeah, he re he really does. So he has uh, decided because he's doing some volunteering. I guess. Yeah, his, he's working. Mm -hmm. He's do, he's a staff person. Mm -hmm. at, is he uh, ambassador or is he just like well, not just? But I don't know. He checked me in when I got here. So nice. I was kind of like looking. Oh my gosh, That's Dustin nice. Stout is checking he's me also in. He's tall, by the way. He's much taller. He's than really that tall. Stout. Yeah. So he's uh, he's he's rocking it out yeah. here. But yeah, go check out Dustin. Uh, Christopher Wogelman thinks the three-legged husband is funny. Thank you for that. That's pretty. That is pretty. Uh, pretty nice. Tim Longwell says Martin Shervington, uh, Vincent Messina, Nicholas Cardot, me. Thanks, brother. Cheryl Dennis, Sandra Watson. On the list goes on and on. Um, Don wants to know if Nicholas is in the house. I'm not sure if he is, but I bet he would be wearing a tiara if he was. I'm just saying. Um, this is a good one from Andy. Um, Facebook has been better, better good to me, um, especially my page tons of well you are Andy Lyons um, <laughs> friends at fun and engagement excellent for focus study group just saying amen sister I'm with Good. you on that one like, well, I think I mean, it, it does work very well for many people I am finding that it's working less well and less well regardless and I keep trying new ways to engage mm -hmm. I you know whatever's <laughs> the, the whatever yeah. it is and I'm just not it's not happening mm -hmm. I know Amy. Well, yeah. Amy Porterfield is here, right? Yeah, yeah she's so, speaking right now. I think as we speak, nine forty-five. She, she, she started. Speaking. It's nine forty-five already. Yeah. Holy crap! We chatted it up. <laughs> um, so, so I know she sent out an email to me. You know, just to me. Just to you, right? Right. Uh -huh. I feel fancy. Yeah. Um, but so, did, dear Mia. Yeah. 
I've been thinking about you. Yeah. Um, but it, it actually was a really, really good email talking and just really nailing down and facing the fact that yes, it's changed. Um, yes, if you do, if you do, I mean, it's it's definitely about strategy mm -hmm. for sure. So you can't just put out, you know, it's it doesn't get broadcast and blasted out. But that does mean that people are going to have to get their, you know, what together and and start. You're going to post, and I guess investing too. So definitely mm -hmm. talks a lot about investing. So. I'm not saying that's what I'm going to do, but I think that that it still has some viability to it. Okay, here's a point that uh, that Mike Stelzner made in the keynote yesterday when he was talking about the trends. That one of the trends is um, that many brands are really focused on Facebook advertising, mm -hmm. and that he feels that because it's become a pay-to-play, finally business people are realizing that they have to have their own real estate because we're just renting. Um, our presence on the social networks and a lot of yes. uh, companies, businesses, even solo businesses have put so much investment into the social networks but it changes all the time, you can't control it, you need to have your own real estate and I've been talking the blogging thing forever and Stefan's um, really been, I bet yeah. you two chatted that up like yeah. crazy. Yeah, I mean I, I started yeah. 2004, so a decade. I can't believe it's been that long, but it's been my mantra for a decade. You've got to have a blog site because that is where you are creating your presence that you own and control for the most part. So you know, Preach. use the social to relate and then bring them on home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so, get them on the list. Yeah, get them the on list the list. Is the money. Yep. That I mean. That, Amen, sister. And I've heard Ryan was preaching that the other day too. Um, we were talking about that because um, someone on Google Plus had, had just been arbitrarily had their uh, David Oldenburg had had his profile shut down for absolutely nothing, no idea. This on was Facebook, last week. Uh, no on Google Plus. Oh, really? And when that happens, his YouTube account was also shut down. So guess what? Mm, I know. Does that make it? <laughs> Why? So, I know. I know. <laughs> um, still don't know. We did come back. Everything's fine. Mm -hmm. um, but with that being said, so backing up everything, I've been I've been doing it anyway. Mm -hmm. Been downloading like every single video that you've got, all exactly. your content. Yeah, and just kind of locking that down. But you're right. Really starting to build that because what does what would happen um, if something arbitrarily got shut down, got pulled, Twitter, anything, and you yeah. think you've got this big thing? You think you've got your audience there, and it's like they're not your audience. Until yeah, they're in your own database, mm -hmm. they are not your audience until until you you can actually connect with them without using a third party application like Facebook or mm -hmm. Twitter or Google Plus. So let's pick your brain on that one. Okay. What to tell us ways that we should? Uh, okay, let's talk about me. Okay, let's talk about you. Okay, enough about you. Enough about me. Let's talk about you. What do you think about me? <laughs> <laughs> you are beautiful. <laughs> You're smart. You're pretty. As, as, as my sister-in-law says, she says that Mia has some seriously good mojo. Oh yay! I was she wondering where she was going. Oh, she did. Yeah, she's, she's, a hot, she's a hot, seriously good mojo. I was I'll like, take it I from know. a hot woman. She. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, I gotta give back. you back your mojo over there too. She was awesome. <laughs> yeah. I definitely loved her. So, so for me, so I have, I do a blog about my show. Mm -hmm. Um, I hate writing. I'm a great reader. Mm -hmm. I don't like writing. So cool. but what I've done is decided that my content, what I'm going to write about, um, is about the show. Mm -hmm. This is what my strength is, mm -hmm. right? So pulling people in, which by the way, could you go to MiaConnect.com and subscribe? How's that? That's my first <laughs> that <is> right? <laughs> If you want to get um, advanced notification of who's going to be on the show, if you want to get notified when it's up on the blog, in case you miss it, because mm -hmm. not everybody has time to watch mm -hmm. live. And, and you don't have to yeah. buy anything. Oh, wait, you can buy a Bob Boss mug, uh, <laughs> and you could also go to the craftstar.com and get your own backcraft crazy necklace or your own coffee mug or your wine glass. There's wine glasses too. Speaking of which, oh everybody, gosh. anybody who won something on the show last week, Rhonda Green and I will be getting in touch with you. My bad. I, I had oh, the day. Shannon, oh, hey, brother. <laughs> oh, and he does. Oh, he preaches that. Oh, he has he has yeah. bitch slapped me with that information in a good way. Thank you, brother Shannon. He preaches that yeah. that in a big way. So yes, yeah, so please go so, and subscribe. You right know, now. the the social networks are so seductive. Mm -hmm. You know, because we can have fun and we are chatting with people, but that's not going to earn you money. Mm -hmm. I mean if you're in this for business, which most people, well, many people are, I'm a business person so mm -hmm. when I'm using these tools I'm using oh, it drink. to connect with oh, uh, <laughs> to, yeah. to connect with either people who 
could teach me something, mm -hmm. you know, yes. my peers or someone who's way smarter than me, um, or I'm looking to connect and teach my own tribe who follows me around, mm -hmm. and but I need to monetize that in some way. So I'm building the relationship, and then I bring them back and say, hey, I've got a great article on my blog. I may be promoting it on mm -hmm. Google+, Plus, which, of course, that's important to do, and on yes. Facebook and everywhere, but then it's like, come back and you know, maybe you want to work with me or maybe you want to get my seven free tips to boost your visibility or whatever it is just to get them started mm -hmm. onto your own network where it's you can communicate when you want to, how you want to. Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's absolutely is, it's imperative. I get and then, pretty oh, I love it though. That's why I get this. excited about it though too, like preach it sister. And I know he does too. Like, let me pull up his comment. He's saying, I agree with what you're saying. I love that mantra. It should be lesson number one. Have a hub where you control mm -hmm. content. Then convert for an email. He's You're really so, good about so it. So articulate. He really is. Thank we you. love him for that too. I think so. Irene's got. Um, hey there, checking in. Yes, that's our girl. Actually, we could wave. Oh, she, she did lead up because girlfriend's been so good. We read her ragged, didn't we? In fact, hold on one second. Um, let's see if you can see out the window. Yep. Christine's down there somewhere. <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> <laughs> that is out. We had a great view too. Mm, it is yeah. absolutely beautiful here. I got in. It was a little cloudy, Spectacular. but it has been great. So uh, let's see what else. But yeah, I love that. So so that that is such a mantra for everybody. Mm -hmm. So um, and do you think that? Um, <laughs> do you think that? Uh, so what about? Do, do you think? So everybody needs to have a blog, though. Pretty much. I think so because yeah. that that's where you mm -hmm. are are demonstrating what you know, who you are, how you serve, how you help people. You're you're sharing your expertise. You're mm -hmm. sharing. You're building your credibility that way. Then you go deep. It gets indexed. Mm -hmm. It's how people find you organically through search. If you're actually solving a problem that people mm -hmm. are searching for, that's offering a product, mm -hmm. solving a, pro a problem, pain points, mm -hmm. uh, infotainment. That's what yeah. I'm all about yeah. too. And it really, it was. I think it was tough for me because I because I I see so many prolific writers mm -hmm. and I enjoy their writing. And felt like that's what I needed to do, and that's what Joe Polizzi was talking about you have too. A blog. About. I, I, yeah, and so so now, but what I've turned the blog into is a recap of the show mm -hmm. with a YouTube video of it. So it's the same kind of thing, but going in yeah. depth as well, and then really showcasing. So it's fun for me because then I get to showcase people right. even more so to that new depth, and then right. share it out. So then that integrates with them too. Right. So that's what, what I found out. Whoops, worked for <laughs> for me more than anything. Well, and. That's one of the things I love so much about Google Plus and Hangouts mm -hmm. is that you can create this content live like we're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, everybody knows this. I don't need to repeat it. Mm -hmm. But and then it, I post post it on my blog. Right. Post it everywhere, mm -hmm. basically, and there it lives. Yeah. You know, and for me, that's and a blog post too. You know, that's right, and I too. write all kinds of things to the person I interviewed, and you know, it's. Okay. Um, so here's a practical question. Okay. Um, uh, with web hosting and so forth, mm -hmm. um, you know, so what happens if something goes down with your web? So what's your backup for that? Well, that's as you know, best you can with mm -hmm. the web host. Mm -hmm. um, I recently upgraded to a managed VPS so that I have even more <laughs> robustness. <laughs> you do. Because <laughs> um, like I was getting a lot of traffic. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, you can't control everything, right? But you can do the best you can to protect mm -hmm. yourself. And now, and there's, and then back up all that up too. So yeah. You've got oh gosh, yeah. Up. You're yeah. obviously you've got your email list yeah. too. So even if yeah. that goes, I back up my goes. email list. I back up my blogs. I with Backup Buddy. I love that plugin. I download every YouTube video and back it up on my site yeah, and yes. Dropbox. I've got everything like triple backed up. Mm, pretty girl, much. locked down. Yeah. I think it's smart though, you guys, because you do kind of get. And I, I, I um, started doing it about a month or two ago, mm -hmm. and then I, you know, created playlists too. So everything I've got in play, things in different mm -hmm. places, but I love that too. So that, yeah. so you think people should get a strategy for that as well? Yeah. Like, oh, definitely. Back up. And at, that, that's process maps. Irene and I are working on that together. Of like, oh, cool. What happens at? Oh mm -hmm. man, I nerd out on process maps. That was for you, Debbie Davis. But she knows I do too. Let's take a few more. It's ten clock already. Good lord in a hand cart. Oh, okay. Sunny, nuggets in the banter. Good point. Yeah, we really, really do on that. Um, look at this comment. <laughs> Boom. Boom goes the Wakeman. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh, thank you, Shannon. <laughs> yes, thank you, my brother. Infotainment is the mantra. I want to meet him. I want to meet Shannon. I got to meet him. You did? That was awesome. Yeah, I did. We IRL'd it with... Um, 
with Ben, and uh, I came. Oh, in Phoenix. Mm -hmm, we went to the restaurant, and I came back from the bathroom, and Ben and Shannon had this waitress convinced that they worked for NASA, and they were cleaning <laughs> no. up something like that. It was hilarious, and I'm like, what the actual? <laughs> and I came in, and they said something about an assistant. I'm like, oh, she is, and they're like, no, you are. I'm like, oh, yes, I am. <laughs> And I tell you, so, so. Alright, girlfriend, give me oh, your, look at uh, this is nice with from Craig. Oh, like yeah, oh my brother. He's so good about this. Social media blog, email list, yes. bank, and search blog, email list. Ah, oh, my brother. I love it. Hey, oh, kid. I want hey, kids. So like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we need a snap yeah. from this. Yeah, no, we'll snap snappy that. snapshot that one, brother. You getting in there. Uh, yes, infotainment is the ma uh, mantra. Yeah, infotainer, <laughs> thank you for that. Um, listen, we're past the hour. Yeah. What's your uh, that crap crazy, darling? What's my bat crap crazy? Mm, do you know what that is? No. Did you? Do you I, guys, what's I haven't been. I haven't been yeah. on your show before. And I so, didn't get you prepped. So okay. Yeah. So when I first started the show, I just decided that I wanted to shout people out mm -hmm. and and then give the guests the ability to shout people out. So what that could be a person, place, or thing that you're bat crap crazy. It's a great way to do a pay it forward. But I just thought bat crap crazy was funny. And by the way, everybody that's been talking, that's the bat pack. Okay. Hey, that pack. I don't always have time to watch your show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's my back cup, crazy? Mm -hmm. California. Yes. Okay. SoCal. Mm hmm Yeah, and I, I, um, I am too. Here. And hey, we're going to have a real quick what's on the bottom. Hold on a second. What's Look at bottom? this. What's on the bottom is how awesome our toes are. Yeah. Woo. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed them. So usually what I do is have people stand up and, and show what's on the bottom. So she's got a cute little skirt. Yay! That's what we got going on. <laughs> Somebody said that. Oh, that was the. That was the. Oh gosh, I just forgot her name. Joanne Woolley. She's like, man, I hope Mia's not gonna do what's on the bottom while I'm there. I got <laughs> So that was a full on what's on the bottom. We got a lot of what's on the bottom this week. That sounded weird. All right, guys. <laughs> My background crazy is Denise Wakeman, social media and marketing world, and definitely San Diego and all the sunny. Yeah. Christine DeGraff. I, I Christine DeGraff. Truly totally enjoy rocks. Hang, hanging out with her this week. I mean, we've you know we've slept together. That's all you got to say about that. <laughs> Not in the same bed. I'm just saying. On that note, I'm Mia Voss. This is Denise Wakeman. We're at Social Media Marketing World. That was our recap for it. And I uh, love you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks for hanging out. Bye. Bye. Bye.